Hey guys, I wanted to show you how to make uh, water from scratch uh, using the surface noise shader inside Unity 2019. Um, this is the Polyworld Woodland demo scene, and let's just create some water from scratch using the terrain converter. So, if you go to game object, 3D object, uh, terrain. It's going to create a big giant default terrain. It's too big for what we want. We just want to kind of cover this pond right here just for demonstration purposes. So let's go to the settings of the terrain, scroll down, and we're going to set up all these terrain widths. I'm just going to do 64 for width, length, and height. Detail resolution, those really don't matter because um, we're not doing any detail patches. We're not painting tr uh, trees or anything. Uh, texture resolution, though, so base texture. Uh, we want to generally match the resolution of the terrain for all three of these base control and height map resolution um, It resize for both of those and We're good to go Now all I want to do is place that terrain in the right location do is we'll just put it like right there cool okay uh, for right now this is just your normal poly world terrain so what we want to do is add a QT poly world terrain component to it and uh, let's see let's set our chunk size this is a pretty small terrain so um, we don't want 64 meshes generated so we're gonna bring this chunk size choice up just do four uh, we're not going to need LODs, that's fine, um, but we're going to need some color to paint on this, so let's go to the brush tab here, and we'll do paint texture. It looks like there's a layer from a previous terrain here, so I'll, uh, oh, weird. <laughs> let's add a new layer, and there's some layers already made inside Polywell Terrain. Um, a key note here, with the terrain shader, um, the water would need to be black to be fully reflective to see the, the pure color of the water. So first we need a black swatch and that'll fill the terrain. And um, I'm gonna put like a little bit of green where the uh, water meets the shoreline there. So we'll just do green right there. And I'll pick this round soft brush there. We'll bring the brush size down, opacity up. And I'm just gonna paint like right here, just roughly so you can see what's going to happen. Okay. Again, this is just a normal terrain for now. And another special note about the um, water shader, surface noise shader specifically, is that uh, I don't recalculate the vertex normals, and that's good for performance, right? So when the vertices move up and down, the reflection isn't going to shift so to kind of compensate for that, uh, the best way to go is to add some noise height to the terrain here. So we'll go to the razor lower terrain. And um, I included like a special noise brush because this isn't included by default. Um, so if you go to new brush, go to noise, and we have brush noise. And you get this pretty simple Gaussian noise here. Um, pretty much you want to bring the opacity down a little bit probably because we just want to make sure it's not flat but not too noisy because our surface noise is going to do most of the work. Switch the shaded wireframe and I'm just going to brush over this a little bit here and you can kind of see that the vertices are kind of moving a little bit. kind of helps if you just kind of click a little bit randomly like this. No rhyme or reason, just make sure it's not perfectly smooth everywhere. So it's got a little bit of like weird, um, you know, the vertices aren't perfectly flat and that's basically what we want. Just a little bit of perturbed information there. That's good. And now um, we're ready to convert, but first we need to 
add a material here because when we convert it says oh you're not going to put a material down so let's go and let's go to our materials folder now let's do create material and we'll just say pw water and the shader for that will be our surface noise now there's two here there's surface noise and surface noise linear if you're in linear color mode obviously choose a linear one otherwise uh, by default it's gamma so choose pilot or surface noise to use gamma coloring mode and um, the surfaces are animated based on a animated height map like a simple offset map and there's one included in Pilot World. So if we type offset, we have offset map A. And let's turn smoothness all the way up to one so it's shiny. And for now, we'll just leave those as a default. We'll tweak them later. Go back to our terrain here. Material to apply. Let's drag to water. And looks like we're set up. So let's do update all because we need to create the water. And Create a folder for your Polyworld meshes. Select folder. It converts, and now we have water. Um, if we hit the source terrain, terrain visibility, it'll uh, remove the poly. Uh, sorry, the actual Unity terrain, so we can just see. The watery terrain. Okay. Doesn't look like it's moving, so let's see why. Hmm. Do I have to turn on animated materials here? There we go. Or maybe select the material. Okay, I guess that's new in 2018, 2019. Yeah, so um, intensity controls how steep the waves are. Right, so something low is good for like a pond. Uh, tiling represents how much this offset map tiles on the surface so you can get really noisy waves and they kind of march along or if you're out in the ocean turn this down and it's more of a subtly rumbling tiling approach right so we'll just do one for now uh, speed this is a vector so uh, what basically what direction is the current so if I turn this to zero, it's not going to move at all, right? If I turn Y to one, it's going to shift the other direction. If I go one, one, it's going to move diagonally. Right. And smoothness is how shiny the water is. You probably want that to one. Speed, I want that to come down. There we go. Uh, metallic, this is in case you want to do something special with your water. This just makes the water metallic under a physically based shading. Could be real murky, kind of like an evil kind of water, who knows. Wave direction, um, this is in case you're using the, uh, like a, a mesh. Uh, this actually changes the wave direction. Um, which direction the waves are perturbing. So here it's the x-axis, so this is kind of moving horizontally. And I have wave direction 1, so that these move up and down vertically. So that's pretty much it for uh, Pilot World terrains, but let's say you just wanted to have a mesh that um, is copied. Uh, I've added the Poly World Ancient East water meshes to Poly World Woodland. So if we go into the Quantum Theory Polyworld Ancient East Meshes Water folder, <laughs> that's a lot. Um, we have a 10 by 10 and a 2.5. So if I drag, say, this 2.5 water in, um, it's just this little water patch right here. And the offset map is missing, so let's be sure to, offset there, to add that in. And you'll notice that the water is perturbing you know, along the z-axis, right? We need to change that. And here in the wave direction parameter, uh, 
probably want to set that to Z. Yeah, there you go. Because it's using world space coordinates, right? So what's cool about this is uh, this mesh tiles. These meshes like tile with one another so you can copy and make sure you drag along the axes. Let's see, let's snap. First you want to, you know, snap all axes so it's along the grid and then you just duplicate and drag. And those meshes will tile with one another. So if you just want to make like a little small little area of water, that's basically how you do it. And we also have the uh, 10 by 10 size for even bigger patch. And this is convenient if you don't want to make a giant um, pilot world terrain water. So um, that's basically it guys. I uh, hope you have fun with this. Thanks.